All right, hey, so a couple of things on this beautiful day. Uh, I am currently in the shop making the next wooden project, which was highly recommended by a lot of you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to release that video um, soon, in the next few days. So I don't know whether it will be or will not be in the next few days, but we'll take notice. Uh, I, I guess it kind of just depends on whether I finish it and it all turns out because I kind of want to test this one out on something. I don't want to give it away, but I'm going to test it on something and hopefully I don't bust it. So it's going to be pretty sweet. Anyway, stay tuned for that. And then the next thing is uh, I'm at a new all-time high for myself on trophies. Uh, Challenger 2 pushing close to Challenger 3 really getting in there. But that's not. I'm not going to push on the ladder today just because I've been playing this deck. And I kind of want to show you this deck. Uh, I first saw this with Surgical uh, Goblin. He showed this deck, and he did pretty good with it. Obviously, he does good with pretty much any deck, so good for him. Proud, of, proud of him. Anyway, so I am gonna play this deck here and see um, if we can uh, keep on going. I'm in a grand challenge right now. I'm currently at uh, nine and two. So obviously, I would love to be a little bit better off, nine and zero. Oh. But that's just not the way it is. But we're going to get in here. And either way, we're going to get a sweet chest opening uh, in a second here. But I'm going to get in here and try and show you the mechanics of this deck. Just because it is so easy to learn. It's so easy to it's so, it's so easy to use that even I can do it. And so it's great. It's really a fun one in challenges. Um, this is one of my better... I'm not that great at challenges. Obviously, I'm still learning. Uh, you guys are giving me tons of tips, by the way, which is great. I'm still learning, and so uh, I'm not super great, but this deck has been easy to pick up and actually start and actually use. So where he dropped Princess there, I'm assuming he's going to have some sort of Zap Log Bait deck, and he is. So we're going to log that away, and hopefully, hopefully, I don't think it's going to get all the way to the Princess. No, of course, it died right short of the Princess. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we will put the E-Wiz right there. Hopefully we can reset that. Oh, he has the walk clear around. Dang it, that did not work. I thought he could reach across the tower and get that. Unfortunately, that is going to be a bad situation for me. Oh, dang it. He got so flipping lucky. It's not even funny, dude. Not even funny, dude. I feel like... Hmm. I feel like... Okay. This is not good. Um... I really, I kind of got to save the log, but I guess I got to use it or else he's going to pretty much take us out. So, uh, I don't know what else to do on that deal. I knew he was going to do that too. Uh, this is kind of a bad situation. We're going in here, nine wins, and then I start out like this, guys. This is horrible. Absolutely horrible. I got to pull something together. Unfortunately, he has the Inferno Tower, which is one of the deck's biggest weaknesses. Obviously, if you can't get the giant in there to do any damage on anything, then that's kind of a, kind of a little bit of a problem. And then I think he has the zap as well. If I'm not, uh, what the flicking play was that? That was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That tower's gone, so I'm gonna focus on this tower right here. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna do that, 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 and then. Uh, unfortunately, I might have to restart this whole challenge in this video and see if we can't get you the mechanics of this deck since I started out so horribly because I wasn't man I didn't even warm up today ooh this is not looking great uh, so we're gonna use the electro wizard hopefully zap those goblins away he's got goblins of his own up here so we'll do a little of that action right here oh man he dropped his knight perfect uh, we'll do that no nope, we won't do that either gosh dang I don't know what to do right now so that's that's actually um, not great. That's not great. So we should be able to, if we could just get the Electro Wizard in there and get some zaps off, holy cow. Then we could get that going. Uh, I'm just going to have to play the graveyard because I don't have any other choice. We're going to have to poison that. Dang, this battle did not go as planned. I'm going to show you how to use this tank in just a second. <laughs> this is horrible. This is so, what? Dude, this guy's actually pretty flipping good, dude. I've not played... A guy with this kind of skill level in a little bit in this whole challenge actually so I am very sad that this turned out this way for us <laughs> that was a horrible start absolutely horrible start to the game uh, that's okay we'll, st we'll get into another grand challenge we're just gonna jump right back into it and then I can show you the deck all right but first but first I believe we get to open this bad boy up which is that's great that is great we're gonna see what we get here 
Um, ton of gold, of course, so that's great. Some bomb towers. Who wants those? Baby dragons. Don't mind a good baby dragon now and again. Uh, one balloon away from level 6, so I'm super excited about that. We got epic cards. Um, two witches, which that is is what it is. We got five epics coming our way so far. It looks like we got a heal spell and a plethora of royal giants. And it looks like... We got a legendary. That's great. Uh, Lava Hound. Um, that's good. So we just need two more for level three. Uh, that's awesome. That's sweet. Nice. Not not too bad of a chest pull. Okay. So super excited about that. Uh, that's awesome. Really awesome. Okay. Let's get back into another challenge and see if I can't show you this deck for reals. Okay. Let's focus a little bit more and start this bad boy up. All right. So we are facing Yenzioi. I can't even say his name. How do you get those lightning bolts in there? That's pretty cool. Alright, so another princess! Oh my gosh, if this is the exact same deck we just played, I'm gonna flip a brick. If he throws a goblin barrel right now, I am gonna lose it. I am gonna lose. We'll do that for that side. And then we should be able to do this for this side. Take out that, that, and then we'll. I guess we'll. Oh, nicely played. Nicely played. Oh, one of our goblins stayed alive, people. He has the exact. Why didn't the E Wiz hit the flipping Inferno Tower? Does anybody know? I thought he should have hit the Inferno Tower, but I'm actually okay with what happened because he got a ton of damage on that tower, so that worked out really. Gosh dang! Kill her already! Holy cow! Anyway, so that's great for him. Um, we're gonna put a giant there just to distract those goblins. There we go. And then we will throw. Hopefully, he throws his goblin barrel just in desperation. Um, we should be able to put a graveyard down, and then we'll put a little bit of uh, that action down, and our knight should get to the tower and do a little bit of damage. Uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Giant, get to the tower, not knight. What am I saying? Oh, okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, so we bit. Now we should be able to log that away, and then we'll do goblin gang for that barrel. Not a problem at all. Don't zap. Don't zap. There we go. And then we pretty much have that tower in the back. So now all we got to do now is pretty much defend, and we are in good shape. We are really in good shape. So we're going to put a Mega Minion here and a little bit of a Giant here, up here. And then he's got his Inferno Tower coming down, so we should be able to poison both that and that. And our Mega Minion's going to go to the tower and take it out. No! It's going to do the Knight. You're going to do a little bit of damage on the Knight. Dang, nice job. Come on, take out that knight. I don't care what you do, just take it out. We're going to use the log for the goblin barrel this time. And what we're going to do is we're going to save our goblin gang for the princess. Oh, I got to use that. I got to use that. Oh, nice. Okay, that worked out. Oh! 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 I did not see that coming. That was a bad situation. So now I got to do electro wizard. Come on, go hit that inferno tower. Reset it. Reset it. Oh, no! Nice placement by the knight. Very good job. Well played by him. We're going to poison his princess and the tower all the way down to zero, and we should have that taken care of. Great deck. We didn't even use the graveyard that much in this battle, unfortunately. Um, whoa. Oh. Oh, what a play by him. Did you guys see that? I did not see that goblin barrel come in, so that was an excellent play by him. We're going to do that, 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 and we should be able to lock that up he almost had us with that sneaky sneaky goblin barrel behind the rocket that they talked about about three years ago and that was a good play on his part i have to give him give him props for that we have a crown chest coming our way let's see what we get out of that thing okay dark goblins yeah that's something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right into another battle see if i can't show you what i want to show you is when you get one tower down how killer this deck is it just can you can just take advantage of the guy so works out super well um so every single battle there's been a princess um that's crazy actually if you think about it i'm gonna have to i'm just gonna log her away that way we got that taken care of uh we'll do that for that ice spirit and whew, that hog's gonna do a little bit of damage to us and he's already cycled back to the princess I'm just going to take her out with a poison spell right off the bat, see if we can't mitigate our damages there. And then we got a little bit of damage on the tower as well, so that worked out pretty well. Um, so he's got Hog Rider Princess, a uh, little skeleton action, which I'm not obviously too worried about. 
what are we gonna do now? We gotta get a giant. We gotta get a giant push in here. Okay. He dropped log. I don't know what he was expecting. Uh, oh, probably our goblin gang, but we did not fall for that trick. And then we're gonna do that action right here. And we should have that tower down now, right here. Hopefully. As long as, yeah, we should have that tower all the way down. We'll poison that thing. Um, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Not too bad. See, not too bad. Pretty easy to play, so all you gotta do is drop the giant. And, uh, <laughs> graveyard. As long as they don't have an inferno tower, you're in pretty good shape. We'll wait for that is log right there. And then we'll do that. And then let me show you this next play here. It is going to be absolutely brutal as soon as we can cycle around to the graveyard. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Um, just defend a little bit, defend a little bit, and you're in good shape. Um, we need double elixir to hit real fast. Real fast. I should have taken her out with uh, skeletons. That was my bad. So we're going to cycle through. We're going to cycle again. And then here's what we're going to do. So we're going to drop graveyard and then giant right in the middle. And then that way both towers are focused on the giant. And then he is just going to get wiped out. Watch this. Watch this. All the way down. Watch that. The giant with the graveyard. He pretty much threw everything he had at that. And we got the tower all the way down to 732. And all we have to do is do one more push. And we will have his tower pretty much gone. Which won't be too big of an issue at all. Um, so we'll do the exact same push again. Oh. If we... I'll just take her out real quick. Do the exact same push again. So you drop the graveyard first. And then you drop the knight, or the giant right there. I keep saying knight. You drop the giant right there in the middle. He has absolutely nothing he can do about it. We've got a little bit of log action, but the giant is still coming in there real hot. Gonna get a couple shots off on that tower, and it is toast. It's game over pretty much every time. That's just, I mean, it works almost every time. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome play. So if you guys have a chance, be sure and try this deck out. It is super good in grand challenges. Obviously, the first match didn't go too well for us, unfortunately. But we were nine wins deep, which I should have warmed up a little bit more and been waiting for that deck. I don't know how I would have done that a little bit differently. I probably would have done it a little bit differently. But anyway, try this deck out. It is super sweet, super easy to use. Uh, simple mechanics. Make sure to drop the giant. Get it up there and then just drop the graveyard. You should be able to do a ton of damage. I don't know why people hate the elite barbs and crap so much. This giant is pretty much unstoppable in challenges. As long as they don't have an inferno tower. You probably should take a zap uh, if you start seeing a lot of inferno towers or something like that. Anyway, thanks for dropping by the channel today. I really appreciate it. Uh, be sure and leave some comments, some likes below, and stay tuned for that upcoming video. I am super jacked about it. Um, it's going to be super fun. Um, hey, and good luck.